So you'll need all your stuff out from yesterday. What will really be helpful is this page, our notes page, but we're doing concurrent lines day two. Yesterday we covered all concurrent lines um, when we, did, we dealt with uh, angle bisectors yesterday. We found the point of concurrency for acute, obtuse, and right triangles. We did that for perpendicular bisectors, and we did that for, um, for our uh, medians. Okay? Today we're going to work through the altitude piece. All right. So if you've got that packet, great. Um, was anyone actually absent yesterday? Okay, well good. So you're with us. Here we go. Let's talk about, let's go through altitudes. Alright, altitudes you need, all you need is your pat. You don't need any of the triangles. So you actually have extra triangles. So I, sorry, I printed off an extra page so you can go home and just wow your friends and family with um, triangle folding tricks. Okay? Yep. So we're going to use our note page and we're going to use our note card. Okay? So get that note card out. You'll notice it has a little hole punch in it. You actually save this note card for another chapter where it becomes a note card for your test. So don't lose your green note card. You already sold yours on eBay. I have a couple extra ones that you could have right now, but that's it. Okay. All right. Big demand for eBay note cards. You need an eBay note card? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Shimini. All right. So the, the way we're going to go through this first, we're going to take our note card. And let me actually put up a picture of what we're doing. I think it's a pretty good progression. All right. We're going to use the right angle from our note card to locate the altitude. Now, remember yesterday we talked about the altitude, altitude as being a height. Okay. We're going to go the height from each vertex. So... It's from each vertex, bless you. Okay, and then we're going to trace it. So, for instance, here's my note card. Here's my triangle. We're going to slide that note card, keep sliding, notice the progression, right, until we actually hit an angle. When we hit that angle, we trace the note card, and we end up with our altitude from that angle. You need three altitudes per triangle. Okay. Now, we're going to start with we're going to start with the acute triangle because it's the easiest of the three. All right. So if you stay with me here, here's my note card. It's just kind of off the page. And if you notice, like if I were to extend this line out a bit and I start sliding my note card along that line, it's like it's like an inevitable thing. You just slide and you're sliding. Oh my goodness, the straight right angle. Notice like if I were to trace right now, I would be doing it wrong, but if this is a right angle, right? That little line there because I use that right angle corner. That's not what I'm trying to get yet. But I'm sliding, I'm sliding. You guys tell me when to stop. Whoa, yeah, right about there, okay. It's going a little too fast. So then we trace it. And since we have the right angle of a note card right here, when we pull that out, voila, there's a right angle, which happens to be called an altitude. Okay, so this little line I made here really doesn't matter, and it's just using it as an example. But now, for some of you, it's going to be a little tougher, right, when we turn the page. Okay? Some of you will actually have to physically twist your page like this because it messes with your eyes otherwise. But now I'm using this as my base. Okay? So here I'm using this side now as my base. You're used to seeing your base on the bottom. Well, if it helps, then just turn your page so the base is now at the bottom. There. And now you take your little note card and you slide it along the base again. Uh, it's from Mr. Chafee's room. It is pretty cool. Okay, and we stop right there. And we draw in our altitude. All right. Okay. Now we have one more base. We're going to... Zach, are you good? 
Did you lose this? You, did you not do notes yesterday? Well, dude, when I say who wasn't here yesterday, that's when you go, hey, that's me. That would include you. Come on up, Zach. It wasn't like a, I wasn't, it wasn't a cipher or like secret code. There you go. All right. So now, hello, Hannah. You just set it on my desk there. Okay. So from here, this is now our base, right? Okay. Want everyone to draw in your altitude for that base. Hey. Should. Is yours? Yeah. What's that? They are not angle bisectors. They kind of look like it, but they, and you'll actually see, like, this one really shows how it's not an angle bisector. In fact, let me go this way. Okay. And. Yeah, so, so there's mine, and as, as Grace just said, she's like, hers is a little off, mine's a little off, right? But it looks like it's about right there, so there we go, okay? We're not using really, really, really precise, accurate measuring devices. But you'll notice, yeah, this doesn't bisect that, so it, in some of them it kind of looks like it, but not in this one. Okay, how many have it for the uh, cool guy, a cute? Pretty cute. All right. Let's go to the, which one do you think is going to be easier, the altitudes for the right or the obtuse? Bethany? The right. The right, yeah. Notice on the right, notice on the right, if I want my altitude from this angle, remember, an altitude's where it comes from this angle and it hits the opposite side at a right angle. So when I draw an altitude from this angle to there, notice my altitude is, yeah, it's, this is the altitude. And for this angle, this is the altitude. Right? Everyone see that? What about that angle? So for this angle, I want everyone to draw your altitude coming from this angle. So it's where, it, where a line would come out of this angle and hit this side at a right angle. The opposite side. Okay, try to sketch that in and compare it with your name. Let's see, slide it down and voila. There we've got it. Okay. All right. I want you to, we'll come back to this one after we do this one. Okay, right now I'd like you to, on, on this triangle, I want you to try to figure out as many altitudes from your angles on your obtuse triangle as you can. Okay, well where is our altitudes here? They meet, right? You have an altitude coming down here, coming down here, here. They kind of meet there, kind of a goofy meeting this one's really weird okay this one where you're you're sliding it usually the easiest altitude to find is right there now how many of you were able to locate that altitude all right so we get that that one now then i start going okay from this angle well if i slide along the opposite base until i hit that angle the problem is you run out of you, you, you run out of base. Yeah, you run out of the try. So you have to keep going. You're like, holy cow, maybe eventually I'll hit that angle. And then, boom, I've hit the angle. All right? Well, that angle that I hit right there, I've got to still extend my altitude down. But I also have to extend my base. Okay? And so we end up with that. Now, how many of you got that? Well done. Okay, we usually show this with a dashed line that we're extending the base. Okay, so something like 
that if I make it a little solid. But there's my altitude. Well, that's weird, right? Okay. Well, on this one, it's kind of similar. So if you didn't do the, if you weren't able to get the one that we just did, go ahead for this angle, the opposite side, identify the opposite side, and lie your straight edge on it and slide it. And eventually, we hit that and you get the height of that triangle. All right, so dashing it again. Make it dash it, yep. And then there's our height. Now the deal is, do they actually hit at a certain point? Uh, yeah. yeah, if you continue them, so let's continue them. Yeah, unbelievable. Okay. Yep, so keep continuing them out. Now, my, mine, I didn't quite hit the angle all that well, so I'm guessing mine going to be a little off. You could use a ruler. It's pretty cool. Okay, Haley really loves the note cards, so. But you can use a ruler even though you like the note cards so much. <laughs> and this one, I'm going to punch right through that angle. Okay, I don't. I don't um I don't promote punching, but there we go. There is my point of concurrency. Yours isn't that cool? Mine Maybe mine's not that cool. Maybe the other triangle. It just oh. stopped really. There we being a little loud over there, yeah. That's ridiculous. Jackson, you just tell him to be quiet back there. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> well done, Jackson. All right. All right. That's right. You mess with our class. All right. Okay, so we have some notes from yesterday. Okay, you should have all your triangles done all your notes done just a quick a quick review all right these are your altitudes points of concurrency these are your medians the point of concurrency so on the altitude you have the right angle markings the medians you have the the congruent markings right because it cuts a side in half from the opposite angle these are your angle bisectors, where you're cutting your angle in half, going to the opposite side, points of concurrency. And then your perpendicular bisectors, the right angles. Okay, They don't go through any angles. So the perpendicular ones are the ones where you don't go through any of your angles. Now, there are special ones on these. When you're looking at your note page as a whole, there are certain times that your point of concurrency, that point of commonality, is outside of the triangle. And there are certain times with certain triangles where that point of concurrency is on the edge of the triangle. Okay? I want you to try to find those relationships, and you're going to do that using this last page here. We're going to answer some questions on here. So if you take a look at the, or not the last page, but the next page, it says after you complete each of the sketches, <coughs> we need to answer questions one, two, and three right now. I think I'm going to make the inscribed circle and the circumscribed circle those extra credit problems. So if you do those, I'll give you extra credit. But you need to construct angle bisectors for the, you need to actually use a compass for that. And then perpendicular bisectors, use a compass for that. Question. Um, so on number two, this is uh, for which of these triangles plural or is it one of them triangles? Yeah, for which triangle? Yeah, plural. Yes, it should be. So it would be two. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Is this just due by the end of the period, the um, extra credit work? No, that'll be due Monday. Monday. So you'll turn everything in on Monday. And a lot of you are going to finish stuff in class. But right now, I'll work with your groups one, two, and three. Okay, on one. Does anyone want to take a guess? Number three. Point of concurrency is also the center of gravity. In other words, a center of gravity. Is anyone? Well, let's take a guess on it first, and then I'll show you. 
It's where you could balance it on a on a point and it would it would the triangle would balance. Yes. A Q. Uh, it's actually it's either a median, an angle bisector, a perpendicular bisector, or an altitude. Yeah. yeah, the median, middle, right? Median. Okay. Does anyone have their triangle where they have a median constructed? All right. Let me let me take that. And I am going to do my best. It's easier if we are in a vacuum where there isn't any airflow. We're not in a vacuum, which is probably good for us because we like airflow. But um, I sometimes can get this done. And I'll see if I can do it under the, I don't know how this. OK, so my pin, OK, and the triangle. And we've got the center of gravity there. So I am going to do my best at trying to put it on there. So no, I'm not going to stab a hole. That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> that becomes very tempting though after trying this for a while. You guys can try it at your desk too, man. Who got it? He did. Oh, dude, yeah, yours is balancing really well. You you are so much more accomplished than I right now. Oh, hold on. This is not the median. Someone's ripping me off, man. These are the angle bisectors. No wonder it won't bounce. Oh, dude. I am going to make a median. OK. So there's a middle. All right. Here is a, oh, no. What am, that is not a median. All right. All right, I know we already we already did this. I am just going to um, I need a ruler. All right, while I get these medians constructed, you guys can start on that last page. No fun if we can't see the center of gravity one. And if you want to, you have extra triangles, you can always do that too just because it's amazing fun. It's the joy of learning. It is. Yeah, oh, that's pretty close. All right, constructed my medians. Um, I'd ask for a drum roll, please. For those of you who watch Christmas Vacation, you know what that is. Oh, you guys might have hurt hands by the time I get this balance. Sorry. Maybe the shock wave is making it. Oh, that was so close. Uh, maybe we just need a cooler point. Pretty neato. Okay. 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 So your homework is going to be this back page. All right. If if you finish it in class, great. You probably will. This this is a note page. This is to summarize our learning. This is what you picked up today. Okay. These these different things. Let's fill this out real quick as a class, so we can kind of summarize all this and have all the cool names that go with it. So you feel really cool when you're with your friends and you start talking about math. And you say, well, today in math, we were constructing the end center. OK, it happens. OK, and the point of concurrency for the end center, which for those of you who don't speak math, is an angle bisector from each end um, in a triangle. For an acute triangle, the, the end center, the point of concurrency, that common point they had for an angle bisector, for an acute triangle, was that inside, outside, or on the triangle? It's located inside. 
for the right triangle was the angle bisector the in center in inside outside or on the triangle Okay, who says inside? Okay, you got to look at your note sheet, right? I'm only doing this first one with you. The obtuse triangle. So we're finding the angle bisector, the in center. So you may even write in center here. Okay, the in center, the angle bisector on the obtuse triangle was inside. Okay, then you have the per perpendicular bisector. We call that special point, that point of concurrency. We call it the circumcenter. I'll let you fill that out. The median has one of the coolest names. It's called the centroid, the center of gravity, the centroid. Okay, and then the altitude is called the orthocenter. Yeah? You call it on. It's on the triangle. Yeah. So it's inside, outside, or on. These are some cool names, man. You like, if you had little kittens, you can call it, hey, orthocenter, come here. You know, like, name your animals. Children, you know, like as you get, you get much older, you can remember back to your geometry class, think of these cool names. Just think if your parents would have called you, they would call it, hey, centroid. What up? All right, maybe not for the name. But. Okay. There we go. That's it. Hopefully you fill that out, and we'll go through that all as well. Ask questions if you got them. Hey, hey, Maggie. Um, Maggie did the extra credit on the circum circumscribed circle there. Cre constructed the perpendicular bisectors, and then that center, that point of concurrency, is the center of your circle. And it should hit each of those angles on that triangle. That's really well done. I'm impressed. Before we leave today, I want to finish this. What is this? Inside? What's this one? On. What's this one? Outside. Hey, I want to try to make a connection here, so stay with me on it, please. What's this one? Inside. What's this one? Inside. Inside. And what's this one? Inside. Inside. What's this one? Inside. Inside. So all the cute triangles are inside. What's this one? On. On. What's this one? On. Outside. Outside. Now, let me point out, all the cute triangles are inside. All right triangles are either inside or on. That's the only time it will be on is on a right triangle. And then the only time it lies outside is on the obtuse. Now the weird ones are the perpendicular and the altitudes. That's where you either get the on or outsides. Now, stop shuffling please. You, have, you got one minute. That's all I need right now. And then you guys will have your time. These two things right here, what do they have in common? Altitude and perpendicular bisector. Yeah? Okay, without this stuff. Yes? Yes, this makes a right angle. And this makes a right angle. They hit at right angles. The ones that hit at right angles will either have on on the right triangle or outside on all the obtuse. Okay, those are kind of the weird ones. Okay, that's the end of your notes on that. Okay, get cleaned up.